A tape line on a floor or cardboard is a really good start for line following, but it's difficult to get a nice gentle curve with electrician's tape. One way of getting that is to print out this standard form from our website. You can see that the robot is following the gentle curve, which is an ellipse. It's gentler at the edges, so the top and bottom, and it's a bit tighter at the left and right sides of this. And you can follow the line in both directions. It's a nice gentle curve, which gives you a good introduction and a good test for a line following robot to follow a curve. This template needs an A1 printer, but we also have some templates that can be printed out on an A3 printer. These curves are tighter and more difficult than the ellipse we have just showed you, but they have the advantage that they fit in with the standard size of the International Robocup Junior Rescue cut along the bottom line to make them square and then glue them to either thick cardboard or in this case a six millimeter fiber board which can incidentally be two-sided as it is in this video and you get a nice tile put four of these tiles together and we get a circle suitable for line following print out a straight line cut it to square add it to a tile and we can get an oval. Add a double curve and we start to get more complicated circuits like this one. We can also instead of a quarter one add a much more difficult wiggly bit and we can add it to our circuit and make it like this. For more advanced line following we can put in square corners like this and even tighter wiggly bits like this one down here. There is also a cross template which is handy if you're doing line following with two light sensors or color sensors and also a T piece uh, which can be used in a manner like this. We also have a blob end. This is handy if you're using a one light sensor or one color sensor robot for edge following. It can also be used in straight line with two blob, one at each end, which is useful for timing your edge following robot to check how fast or how slow it's going and if your changes have made an improvement. These templates can be downloaded and used in your school or home. Um, you can download them from the drgraham.org website and the conditions for the use are shown on the website. Now you can also have commercially available line following templates. One that's used a lot in Australia is the Australian Junior Robocup Rescue Mat which is shown here. You can buy this online from the address shown. However, make sure you check out the price and the mode of delivery because it's big and it's heavy and for some overseas places it can't be sent by air and will have to be sent by ship so check those out beforehand. Well that ends our comments on using printed templates for line following circuits. If you want to find out something about using reconfigurable walled mazes take a look at our next tutorial. Thanks very much for watching this tutorial and have fun with your robots.